so weird and ignorant and watered down on so many different subjects that it's almost like people have forgotten that when Jesus Christ was out teaching and preaching and going out in the streets and healing people, while he did have followers, while people were interested in hearing from him and, and he was doing these great works, there were a lot of people that hated him and were trying to get him killed, trying to get him put to death. They're setting traps for him where he went and that this was a big part of the life of Jesus Christ. The picture that, that modern Christianity is going to paint for you is the gentle, long-haired, hippie-looking type of a Jesus sitting on a rock, right, with all the little children sitting in front of him, and he'll have his hands up like this or something, right? Like that would be if it was a Catholic painting, it would he'd, he'd be putting up some weird gang signs, and um, you know, flashing whatever whatever uh, set he's from. But um, the, these pictures. They, they don't do Jesus justice at all. They're not, it's, it's not representative of the life of Jesus Christ. Now look, he did do a lot of teaching. He did help a lot of people, and, and, there, and, and it was great, right? And he didn't go around you know, looking to get into fights. He wasn't a brawl or anything like that. But the words that he said were inflammatory to the point to where people wanted to kill him. If you had a chance to listen to that, that radio show I, I, was, I was interviewed for uh, just this past week, and um, public radio did an interview, they called me in and asked some questions. And one of the questions was they asked me about some other church and some other pastor who has spoken out against uh, the homosexuals, right? And I couldn't answer the question just because I wasn't, I'm not familiar with the church. I don't know who the pastor is or anything. But they said, well, why do you think that you guys are being labeled as hate speech and everything else when this guy said basically the same thing or he's spoken out against the sodomites? You know, like, like what, what do you think is the difference here? And without knowing, and I still don't know exactly what he said, but I said, you know, maybe whatever he said probably wasn't as inflammatory just, you know, the way they said it or whatever, it didn't, it didn't strike a chord or strike a nerve with people to, for, to the point where they're going to sit, that where it really riles people up and gets them upset. And I bet you he didn't go as far as to saying that I believe that according to God's word that these people ought to be put to death. I mean, that, that's, and really that is what gets people so upset. That is what gets people the most upset. I think that's even more upsetting to people than, you know, and, and, and just for the record, because I've heard them, they bleep out what I, what I said in that sermon, and everyone who is here knows what I said, and it's published online, but the way they bleeped it out sounds really bad. They make it sound like I said a four-letter word when I said a three-letter word. When I was talking about the, the sodomite parade, I said they're fag flags. Okay, that's the word that I used, but the way they bleeped it out, they bleeped out fag and it sounded like a different F word, which that, I mean, everyone here knows that that's not the case, but it just, uh, that was pretty irritating because that's what, what it sounded like and that is not at all what I said, and, and I'd be way more embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed of saying the word fag, but the other word I wouldn't want, you know, that's inappropriate. That wouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't be used at all. But, um, but that's not what I said. <laughs> I said fag flags.